So who would have thought that a graphic designer would be someone to open the door to provide a new lens through which to look at cancer biology and potentially the origins of cancer? Well, that's what Mark Linton, a graphic designer who himself recovered from cancer, who was inspired to start on this, what has turned out to be an eight year journey in looking at all of the available science um, after a dear friend of, of his and his wife passed away. Um, and Sam's death um, took him on this journey. He's now um, written a book about it, but Yes to Life uh, this Sunday put on a conference um, uh, so Robin Daly was the chair and the MC, the chair of, of Yes to Life, and MCing the event. Um, I was the scientific MC, and together with a, a, a very high-profile group of scientists and an expert clinician audience, we evaluated um, Mark's work. And in essence, what he's saying is that um, if you use the um, Hanahan and Weinberg hallmarks as a means of evaluating the existing theories from the DNA somatic theory, the metabolic theory, um, the atavistic theory, there, there are multiple different theories. Most of them don't provide a, if you like, a consistent logic structure um, in, in satisfying the, the um, 10, now there are additional two um, hallmarks that um, Hanahan and Weinberg have put forward. So, um, in essence, Mark has come up with a new theory, and it's pretty extraordinary to, to see um, a lay person, um, but it, of course it, it, it reminds us of, of Lorenzo's oil and other examples where people have been very highly motivated. Perhaps the, the different, um, the, the fact that, that someone like Mark does not come out of a silo research reductionist mindset means that he was looking back on it. Um, so it's it's been a fascinating journey. Mark will have his book um, coming out imminently. There'll be extracts on the Yes to Life website. But please have a good look um, at our article. Um, there are also links to the Yes to Life website where you'll be able to um, read more about this. But it begs the question with Mark's cell suppression theory, about the role of fungi in cancers. And um, it, it also points um, heavily to the work of um, Dr. Rabid Strassman's group in Israel um, that is showing, um, much as the controversial Dr. Tullio Simoncini um, showed several years ago and got ridiculed for it, that actually fungi appear to be present in pretty much all tumors. So does this open the door to to looking again, not only at the microbiome, but the mycobiome, the fungal biome within us um, and the role of microorganisms. Um, we are, after all, more microorganisms than we are human. Um, and this is a, you know, an emerging area of science. Um, and it's very exciting to have um, a lay person in the form of Mark um, open our eyes, open our minds and, and shine a new light on an incredibly important um, disease that devastates um, people for which billions have been thrown into research um, with surprisingly low um, improvements in effectiveness um, despite all, all the research and, and uh, um, use of chemotherapy, radiotherapy and surgery. So um, exciting times. Please have a good look at our articles and all the links in it. So um, um, and thank you, Mark, for uh, really opening all of our minds and eyes and hearts. Thank you.